Have you ever wondered how price changes affect demand? Today, we delve into the fascinating world of economics to unravel this mystery. Welcome to Lenora, the Learning Lab. Our focus for today is the concept of price elasticity of demand, or PD. This term may sound complicated, but it simply measures how much the quantity demanded of a product responds to changes in its price. It's a way of gauging how sensitive demand is to price variations. PD comes in three distinct flavors. First, there's elastic demand, where the percentage change in quantity demanded is greater than the percentage change in price. This means demand is quite sensitive to price changes. Next, we have inelastic demand, where the percentage change in quantity demanded is less than the percentage change in price. In this scenario, demand is relatively unresponsive to price changes. Lastly, there's unitary elastic demand, where the percentage change in quantity demanded equals the percentage change in price. This indicates a proportional response of demand to price changes. So, how do we calculate PED? There are two popular methods, the percentage method and the midpoint method. In the percentage method, PED equals the percentage change in quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in price. Let's say the initial price of a CD is $20 and it rises to $22. If the quantity demanded falls from 100 to 87 CDs, the PD would be minus 1.3, indicating an elastic demand. The midpoint method, also known as arc elasticity, takes into account changes in both price and quantity. For instance, if the price of a product rises from $15 to $30 and the quantity demanded falls from 100 to 80, the PED would be minus 0.2, indicating an inelastic demand. For a quick numerical example, if the percentage change in quantity demanded is minus 50% and the percentage change in price is plus 20%, the PED would be minus 2.5, indicating an elastic demand. To recap, remember that elastic demand means consumers are responsive to price changes. Inelastic demand means consumers are less sensitive to price changes. And unitary elastic demand means there is a proportional response to price changes. And with that, we've unraveled the concept of price elasticity of demand. Stay tuned for more topics that will help you navigate the complex world of economics. Until next time, keep learning with Learnora, the learning lab. Happy learning to you all.